Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking at the historicity of the Book of Acts, and um, uh, we'll just listen to Dr. Keener for a second, uh, a professor and a world authority on the Book of Acts. We know of ancient novelists. These are the kinds of things that we would find instead in a work of ancient historiography. Um, one one uh, work that actually deals with these correspondences with external history has over a hundred pages of this kind of material. Paul's letters are a major source of external corroboration for the book of Acts. You know, you have some differences because, you know, Luke is not Paul, but you have so many correspondences. For example, uh, the names in Paul's circle, not only major characters, like of course Peter and, and so on, but also a, a wide range of minor characters. Uh, the role of Barnabas fits, the role of Silas fits, the role of Timothy fits. Uh, and um, we have more, f more, uh, eight, more than 84 facts, historical facts in the book of Acts that have been verified by a historian who is not trying to follow Christianity but just being honest about studying the text. The facts that we found out are the place of a conspicuous sailor's landmark, uh, Soma Thrace, uh, Acts 12.14, the proper description of Philippi as a Roman colony, Acts 16.12, the right location for, for the river, Gangites near Philippi, <coughs> Acts 12.13, uh, 13. The proper association of Thyatira as a centre for dying. Acts 16:14. Number four. Correct designation. 14. Correct designation for the magistrates of the colony. 16:22. Uh, 15. The proper location of uh, Amphilopolis and Apollonia, where travellers would spend successive nights on this journey. <coughs> Acts 17:1. Um, number 16. The presence of a synagogue in Thessalonica. Acts 17, 1. <coughs> 17, the proper terms, polytarchs used for the magistrates there, 17, 6. Acts 17, 6. Number 18, the correct implication that sea travel is the most convenient way of reaching Athens with a favouring east wind of summer sailing, Acts 17, 14, 15. Number 19, the abundant presence of images in Athens, Acts 17, 16. <coughs> Number 20, the reference to synagogue in Athens, Acts 17, 17. Number 21, the depiction of the Athenian life, a philosophical debate in the Agora, Acts 1717. 17. Number 22, the use of correct Athenian slang word for Paul in Spermologos in Acts 1718, as well as for the court Arios and Pagos, 17, Acts 1719. So we'll do one more video, <coughs> and that gives you an indication that there are many many facts historical facts in the book of acts that you can read and research and know that the book is history <laughs>